Hello and welcome to Cat Scan. I'm Adam Green and it's time to take a look at the Arizona Wildcats who are coming off an effort that has to make you feel good as a Wildcats fan. Coming off their bye week, the Wildcats did what they were supposed to do and what they needed to do in a 52-17 win over the Washington Huskies. Matt Scott threw for four touchdowns, Kadeem Carey ran for 172 yards in his score, and Austin Hill made both of his catches count, racking up 70 yards and two scores, along with what might have to be the coolest stiff arm I've ever seen. Early in the third quarter, Hill took a short pass around the eight-yard line or so, met up with Washington safety Sean Parker around the six, basically told him to get off me, and threw him to the side en route to the end zone. The score basically set the tone for the second half of the game. It put the Wildcats up 21, and the defense took over from there. Yeah, you heard me. The much maligned defense, led by Jeff Castile, shut out the Huskies in the second half of the game. And really, if not for a turnover that gave Washington the ball deep in Arizona territory late in the first half, they could have allowed just 10 points on the night. The defense deserves plenty of credit for what happened Saturday. Four sacks, two interceptions, a fumble recovery, it really was their best effort of the season. But the credit for the performance, in my opinion, goes to the offense. For all the talk about how Arizona's poor defense puts a ton of pressure on the offense to be perfect, the fact is the Wildcats offense puts a ridiculous amount of pressure on the other team to keep up. Matt Scott, Kadeem Carey, Austin Hill, Dan Buckner, the list of guys who can burn you goes on and on. In total, 11 different Wildcats have reached the end zone this season. And think about it. The Wildcats are averaging 39 points per game, and that's including a shutout at the hands of Oregon. They're going to score points. Can you? Arizona's next opponent, number 9 USC, can. A preseason favorite to reach the national championship game, things haven't gone exactly according to plan for Lane Kiffin's bunch. That said, they are 6-1 in the season, with a 4-1 conference mark. Matt Barkley has been excellent at quarterback, Silas Red has been solid at running back, and Marquise Lee and Robert Woods have been every bit as good as advertised at the receiver position. And their defense is a good one. They're allowing just 16.7 points per game. They record 27 sacks on the season, which is, sadly to say, seven more than the Cats have the last two seasons combined. But they have yet to face an offense as good as Arizona's. They do play Oregon next week, but Wildcats get them first. And that's why the Cats have a chance in this one. Really, it's going to come down to whether or not the Wildcats once again start fast and make the opponent play catch-up. Do that, and maybe Barkley, who has been picked off six times this season, makes a mistake or two. Fall behind, though, and Arizona's defense probably won't be going to hold the Trojans at bay. At least not long enough for Matt Scott and Co. to get going. All that said, my prediction for this one is USC 38, Arizona 31. The Cats keep it close, but just don't have enough to keep up with one of the most talented teams in the country. And therefore, we'll have to listen to that damn fight song quite a bit Saturday at Arizona Stadium. Sorry. And that's going to do it for this edition of Cat Scan. For more on the Wildcats, you can check out the podcast I host with Jarrett Carlin called Bearing Down. And for my thoughts on a variety of topics, you can follow me on Twitter at TheAdamGreen. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week right here on ArizonaSports.com.